Guido de Sir. Okay, it's one of the, the great facts of life is that you should never put anything metal in the microwave, okay? But I don't live by their rules, whoever they are. Is it God? Is it Jesus? Who's telling me this? Uh, yeah, the instruction manual of every, every uh, microwave ever. Yeah, that's true. But also, rules are meant to be broken. In the name of science today, I will be microwaving everything metal that I can possibly find. Science is all about experimentation, all about bending the rules and making massive discoveries. It's also very hungry work, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this pizza. Yeah, I know, dude, it's gonna be very filling, but then we've gotta find something to microwave. You know, like something metal, something large, something that can fit into the microwave. Something like you. Okay, fine, I won't put you in the microwave. I know there are a bunch of Guido fanboys in the comment section down below that'll be like, no, please, don't kill, don't kill Guido, I love him so much. Well, you guys should be Team Steve, okay? Oh, now look, my pizza's burning. Honestly, though, guys, Team Steve, Team Guida, pick a side, let me know in the comment section down below, and make sure it's the right choice, or... And if that wasn't threatening enough, how about this, huh, huh? Pick Team Steve, okay? Pick Team Steve. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Okay, so this uh, pizza is looking... Uh, would you say that's done? I mean, I think it's heading there. It's kind of flirting around the idea of being done. Okay, Guido, if you say so, let's have a look. Um, yep, that's exactly the right shade that I was looking for there. Uh, no, it's still edible. Look at it, right? Um, do you want to try a bit? Oh, it's totally fine. If not, it's a bit too... Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter now. I was going to say, if not, it might be a little bit underdone, but that's that's fine. As I said, science about experimentation, about working things out, and uh, that's just another problem. Uh, we're going to take this chicken here, just throw it in there, and we'll just put on for the remainder of the time. So we've got 50 seconds left. While we're waiting for that, Guido, I think we'll look through our tools to see what kind of thing we can put in there that could be interesting. We could put a bunch of spanners in there, a bunch of screwdrivers. They've got... They've got metal in it as well. Uh, crowbars, pliers. Just put all of our tools in there. And uh, I, I'm actually curious to see what it do to the part finder. Because of course the part finder has like a bunch of technology in it. Like tracking technology, radar technology. I wonder if it'd still work once placed in the microwave. But uh, we'll have to find that out. I think this is almost done. We've got 10 seconds left. I've got Hank here who is ready to be fed. I'm just going to put Hank right there. And uh, we're going to put his hands out here. And here you go, Hank. I have you, sir. One chicken. Here you go. Oh, come on, man. Come on, you're looking very thin. Eat something, dude. Come on. No. Oh, I think he ate it. Or it got flung into the abyss somewhere. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, let's just get this guy out of there. You go sit in that corner, okay? So now, we're going to start experimenting. I think the first thing I want to test in there is a bunch of screwdrivers. How many screwdrivers can we fit in this singular microwave here? They're actually struggling to stay in. They're starting to like roll out and try to make an escape here. Well, that's not going to happen, okay? We are going to fit every single one of you in here, okay? And it's going to be amazing. There must be at least a hundred in there right now, Guido. Of course, Guido, there's a little bit of room at the back. If you wanted to squeeze in there... I I'm not trying to murder you, okay? It's not like you've become the star of this uh, internet sensation uh, show that I've made. I it's not like I'm jealous or anything like that. It's fine. Uh, let's just keep putting these in here. There are so many screwdrivers in here right now. What would probably help is if we slowed down time so everything's frozen and then we unfreeze time once we've put them all in their place. That way, they'll all remain in there and we can close the door before they even have a chance to move. Uh, let me put another one there. Let me move this one up just like that. Just like this. And uh, I, that is a lot. That is a lot of screwdrivers in there. Let me go ahead and close this. There we go. <laughs> Let's adjust the settings here if we can. Uh, do I have to speed up time for this? Oh, they're all jumping about. Okay, they actually stayed together. I'm quite impressed. Okay, we want it on high heat. Uh, there we go. We've got him for a minute and 20, I think. Let's see what happens. So they're all in there. I'm going to back up here if we can. And uh, we'll see what happens. Of course, they do have those metallic bits. What are you doing, Hank? Come on, get out of the way, man. They do have those metallic bits in there. So you would presume that this thing would explode. I wonder if it's going to, like, melt the metal or something like that. Oh, I left my favorite gun over there. Um, can I maybe get over there in time before it explodes? Okay, I'll grab this. Thank you. Um, no, it seems to be holding itself together quite well. I'm quite surprised, actually. I really thought it would have, like, exploded by now, but it's keeping itself together. We're microwaving metal. I told you you can do it. Now, kids, go to your kitchen, grab a spoon, stick it in the microwave. Yeah, uh, what Guido said, please don't do that. I am not responsible for any fatalities or injuries that may occur once you do that. But this is, 
This is holding itself together. This is amazing. I'm actually super surprised. There's about 100 plus screwdrivers in there and they're all holding it together quite well. I actually feel quite safe. I'm going to get a bit closer here because there's a bit of lettuce here that I want. Let me put that down there and uh, let me grab this lettuce and start eating. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm a healthy eater now, Guido. Not so healthy lifestyle, but healthy le healthy eater, that's for sure. Okay, let's see the results. Um, I'm very surprised. So I stuffed literally hundreds of thousands of, of screwdrivers into there and they managed to keep itself together, together pretty well. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do something like that. There we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Okay, let me see what happens if we put in a hundred of something else. Maybe it's time for the wrenches, okay? Maybe it's time for the wrenches. I mean, these screwdrivers, maybe they're not entirely metal. I mean, they could have like a plastic casing around the outside, which I presume would help it. But these spanners are completely, completely metal. So let's just put eh, a couple of these in there, just like this. Yep, that looks pretty secure in there. We've just got a huge stack of them. And uh, let's turn up the speed here. Oh, oh, it didn't like that, did it? Oh my gosh, it is freaking out. What is it doing? Okay, I need to topple it. Wait, what? What? They all just fell out the side? Okay, well, we've got one spanner in there, so this is good. It should still work, our experiment. I don't know why they all flew out, but this should still remain a uh, pretty decent test here. Let's back up. The metal is in there. Um, As I said, it's holding itself together. Um, quite well. I really thought it would have exploded and what a mess we've made. I can't believe the rest of the spanners all fell out, Guido. That is just very unprofessional. I'm so sorry to everyone watching at home, okay? This is a science show and clearly we are not providing very professional science here. Come on, do something. It's, it's not doing anything. I'm gonna help it out. Here we go. There we go. It's actually all we can see inside. Oh, you can see it like being heating up in there. You can see all that glistening on it. That's amazing. Oh, and we shot it. And that just exploded the entirety of the microwave. Well, I guess it finally had enough. It should be thanking me. We actually put it out of its misery and now it's like freaking out. Oh my goodness. There are so many parts here. We've got to get out of here. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing the exact same experiment, but with the blender instead. So let's remove the lid. We'll start with the screwdrivers just like last time, just like this. I'm hoping they don't fly around all over the place. I'm just going to put a bunch of these screwdrivers in here like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't even think the lid will fit on here anymore. Let me try this. Nope, they're definitely gonna freak out. Let's just slowly... Oh, already. Yeah, already it's not looking good. Things have been flown everywhere. Oh my gosh, I need the lid. I need the lid back. Oh, jeez. Okay, I didn't want to go that far. I didn't want to go that close to the edge. Okay, I've got the lid back, everyone. Don't worry, the experiment resumes, okay? Let's put this on and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, so they're actually like avoiding the blades pretty much. If I remove this, I think they'll just fly out. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, let me see. If I like put this a bit closer to the middle there. No, they are actually avoiding this. Okay, let's drop more in if we can here. While it's in progress, very unsafe to be doing this both without protective goggles and with an open blender here. This is a recipe for disaster. Come on, we just need to <laughs> make a screwdriver smoothie here just like this. <laughs> All of the blades seem to be avoiding the central bit, uh, blade though, the central rotating blade, which is a shame. Maybe it needs some fluid, maybe we shove an apple in there? There we go. Now it's doing something. Not really though. Um, hmm. Uh, what if we stick a wrench in there? Will the wrench actually do anything? I think the wrench has got more weight to it, so it'll probably naturally fall to the bottom a lot easier. Oh yeah. You can see it's freaking out a little bit more than the, uh, than the screwdrivers were. The screwdrivers, it's interesting, they form like a circle around the side. Um, hold on, let me do something like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is packed to the brim. How far can we push this? Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Some of them are making a valiant escape. This one is just like diving out the side here. This is, this is a disaster waiting to happen. Look at this, they're absolutely packed. Let's keep putting them in there. And they're just pouring out over the top. <laughs> uh oh, I think it's going to explode any second now. If we keep pushing it to its limit, just like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Some of them are just flying straight out. This is insane. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> They're making a great escape. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll tell you what. This thing is in a lot of pain. Let's put it, let's put it out of its misery. Okay, Guido. I wouldn't want to see you being affected like this. So I'm going to do something like this. Oh. <laughs> and there it goes. Pop goes the weasel. Let me turn this thing off just for, you know, just for safety purposes. We don't want anyone losing an eye or a finger or something. Okay, Guido, that experiment was far too short for our final one. So instead, we are going to be opening up this safe, if I can remember the... Remember the name. There we go. Remember the code for it. 
open up this door if we can, just like this, and we've got the precious gold, but this is not going to be the thing that we're protecting. What we're going to be protecting is Hank. Hank, get in there. Just, yep, lay down in there. I want to see, I want to see if Hank and Hank's family could potentially survive an explosion from the outside here. Santa's going to fit Hank's mum, Hank's dad, his little sister, his little brother. Everyone could fit in there. There's room for everyone. There we go. There goes Grandma Hank. Here comes Grandpa Hank. There we go. They're all fitting in. Grandpa Hank, please cover up. We're going to go ahead and close this thing. There we go. Put the latch on it just like this. Going to turn slow motion all the way down so everything is frozen. And what we're going to do, Guida, is build some kind of layer of bombs around the outside of Hank's safe here. So if we do something... Oh, there's a little foot there. Give him a little tickle. If we put a couple of bombs just like this around the outside like this. Hopefully they don't roll away too much. But the plan is we line his safe with a bunch of explosives and once they explode we're gonna see if Hank and his buddies in there survived the uh survived the attack. So uh, let's do something like this. Let's move away. Again don't try this at home. If you have bombs at home First of all, hand yourself into the police. Second of all, don't lock your family into a safe and experiment on them. Okay, let's slow this down a bit, just to see if the bombs... Yep, yeah, the bombs have actually all lined up perfectly. This is fantastic. Okay. Oh! Did they survive? Did they survive? I mean, you can't really tell. <laughs> you can't te really tell, but that is like torture in there. I hope they're okay. Hank? Which one of you is the original Hank? Come on, Hank. Get out of there, man. Get, get off, everyone. Hank, you okay? Did you survive? Let's see. Oh, he's, he's not moving a whole lot. Let's bowl. Let's play some bowling with Hank. Here we go. Let's see if he actually moves from this. Is this going to move you, Hank? Wow. No, I think he's... Uh, I think we killed him. Well, there we go, guys. A full day of experimentation here within the disassembly dimension. I just noticed how huge this wrench is. I hope one day we get to unlock this. Look at this thing. It's massive. Instead of, you know, stuffing Hank and his family into a safe and putting bombs all the way around them, we could just use this to whack him over the top of the head. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this installment of the Disassembly Dimension. If you did, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and put these super awesome shades on here. If I can just uh, put them on my face, that we... No, no, I can't even do that. <laughs>